Oh, sorry I'm late. Man, I got me again. Man, one of these days I'm gonna kill him. Hey, don't worry about it. Everybody knows Arnold Kramer's such a jerk. Yeah. Hey, did you see the game last night? No, yeah, it was all right. <coughs> all right? Magic was excellent. There are 21 assists? Yeah. Hey, Grant, snap out of it. You're the shoe monster, remember? <laughs> Come on, do your big shoe review for us. No, I, I don't really feel like it. Come on, it always cheers you up. Did someone say big shoe review? <laughs> All right, well, what can I use for a microphone? Oh, I see. Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, ready? <laughs> Arnold Kramer is a drag. I use him for a punching bat. My name is Grant. That much is true. Thanks for watching The Big Shoe Review. <laughs> Steve, thanks for making me cheer myself up. Hey, everybody's a winner with The Big Shoe Review. Hey, guys, let's celebrate Grant's good mood with some delicious ice cream on a stick. Well, ice cream on a stick? Oh, count me in. <laughs> Little Granty Schumacher. Nice song. Come on, Arnold. Just just knock it off. Oops. I'm sorry. And right in the puddle, too. I feel terrible, Schumacher. Come on, Arnold. Just just cut it out. You already got me once today. What? Wait, wait, wait. Did you say something? Grunt? I said, cut it out. Oh, what are you going to do, start crying now? Well, go ahead. Boo-hoo, mocker. <laughs> What's the matter? You going to try to run away on your little bike? Maybe, maybe not. Something, honey. The new Leave It to Beaver is better than the old Leave It to Beaver. Mm, well, new is always better, honey. True, very true. Hey, look, he's gonna run over his kid's bike. <laughs> he's still the beef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll get it, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I thought it was the beef's doorbell. <laughs> Mrs. Schumacher. Hello. I'm yes. Edward Ryan. I'm the principal of the Esternemus High School. Oh, uh, hello. Please, come in. Thank you. Yes. Oh, Mr. Ryan. When I'm in my pajamas, oh, my nightmare has come true. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, uh, Pete Schumacher, come in. Sure. Have a seat. I'm sorry I had to meet you under these circumstances. Sweetheart. But seems that your uh, son, Grant, had a fight with a boy named Arnold Kramer. Dad, I, I was going to tell you. I'm afraid Arnold's in the hospital. What? In the hospital? Really? You hit him pretty hard with that pipe, didn't you, Aunt? Pipe? What are you talking oh, about? No, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Not my Grant. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mr. Schumacher, I want to get Grant's side of the story before I recommend disciplinary action. Yeah, uh, Grant, is what Mr. Ryan's saying true? No, Dad, it isn't. Well, my son said he didn't hit Arnold, right. and, and I believe him, right. so uh, thank you very much. Well, I'm afraid it isn't that simple. You see, uh, we found this lead pipe on the playground, and it has Grant's fingerprints all over it. Oh, my God. Hey, hey you guys. Came in to show you the new quilt I've got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know you had company. Who's the man? Well, Gary, you know, this really isn't a very good time. Dad, I'm telling you, I didn't hit him with that pipe. I was using the pipe as a microphone to sing with. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. Ryan, can my wife and I speak with you um, for a minute, please? Gary. Way. Gary. Nance. Right this way, sir. Grant. Did you... How could you do that? Didn't I teach you to fall to the ground and roll up like a perfect ball? <laughs> How 
hit you, too. I didn't hit him, Gary. I mean it. He just started pushing me around, and I just shoved him into a bush. Well, was there anybody else there who saw what happened? No. Man, it's like a bad Columbo episode. <laughs> I'm innocent. Why doesn't anyone believe me? <sighs> It really isn't like such a bad Columbo episode. I mean, I don't know what really happened, and Leonard Smith helped me look for clues here. Have you found anything at all, Leonard? Well, so far, I've got this bottle cap, a cola can, and a cigarette butt. I got a cola can, too, and I got a banana peel and a piece of bread. We have garbage. <laughs> we're cleaning up the schoolyard. That's what we're doing. Garrett, we're wasting our time here. Grant is obviously guilty. He pummeled that kid silly with a lead pipe. Ipso facto, case How can closed. you say that? I wouldn't do a thing like the that. The kid is a powder keg. It's a classic case. The quiet, unassuming one, always polite, always saying good morning, calls everyone Uncle This and Uncle That. Then one day he gets a bad grade, climbs up into a tower with a right. Bye-bye. I've asked everybody I can find, and nobody saw the fight between Arnold and Grant. I know. And Leonard thinks Grant did it. He oh. thinks he's... Well, uh, maybe he did. No, no, I he hate to... I hate to, I hate to say that, but, you know, it's, it's really quite possible. Well, I remember when you were 14. Do you remember that? <coughs> yes, and 14. little... No, listen, little Steve Mason. He ran over your beetle wig with his bicycle, and you ran after right. him. You ran after him, and you hit him with your fist. That's right. And then you fell to the ground and curled up in a perfect ball. <laughs> Well, I had to. He was circling back. Here, Leonard. Let's hit the courts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I won't play tennis, because you wake up with waffle butt in the morning. Oh. I'm going to find something. I know Grant couldn't have done this. Mr. Shanling? Mr. Shanling? Yes. Who are you? Uh, uh, I am a Paula Hanlon uh -huh. from um, Danesville, Wisconsin. Oh. Um, nice to meet you. Thank you. And d could I talk to you for a second? Well, I'm really right in the middle of something, but I guess just for a second. Oh, all right. Then we have to dissolve out to a commercial. <laughs> Attacking someone with a lead pipe is a serious offense. I keep telling you I'm innocent. You're lying. You know it, Schumacher. I am not. Right, Mr. Ryan, I'm not sure expulsion is punishment enough. In light of the boy's refusal to even apologize, we're thinking of pressing criminal charges. Hey, what are you, the judge and the jury? You can't do that. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Interrupt. Can I just say something in Grant's behalf, please? Excuse because me. I... Who is this man? Well, he's that I'm... bad comedian. <laughs> then why don't you tell us one of your fishing jokes? Yeah. Or how about the one about uh, having trouble getting the girl? Bad jokes. Real bad jokes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm just here because I know exactly what happened. Oh, you weren't even there. Nobody was there. Mm -hmm. That's right. The playground was empty. Yeah. Yeah. I was walking along, minding my own business. Right. When Grant Schumacher, whom I've always liked and respected and considered my friend, comes behind me and hits me over the head with a lead pipe. Sending me flying into these bushes. I mean, what was this? I got eight stitches in my head. Right, He's a right. bad seed. Uh -huh. He is not. <laughs> Your son's is. a bully. I mean, that's not even the way it happened. Yeah, we'll prove it then. People, we have to go with the evidence because there were no witnesses. Excuse me, I can prove it. That's why I'm here. I have a very special witness. Will you just excuse me for just a second? Paula, oh. are you all right? You ready? Gary, do I really have to go through with this? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Come on in. Just take your time. Mr. Ryan, Pete, Jackie, Mr. and Mrs. Kramer, Arnold. 
Grant, this is Paula Hanlon from Janesville, Wisconsin. She saw what happened? Yes, she did. Tell them what you told me. Uh, well, we were, uh, we were watching Gary's show. Um, <laughs> and saw the, uh, saw the whole thing. Um, uh, Grant did not hit that boy with a pipe. <laughs> Who's we? Oh, um, all of us up in the audience. <laughs> Yes, they're here. Thank you, Tommy. Okay, great. Thanks for coming to the show. Coming down. Appreciate it. They're all out there, so if there are no laughs from here on out, you'll know why. Please continue. Oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, um, when uh, Gary and his friend Nancy uh, left to go uh, buy his down quilt, the, the one that doesn't scrape him, um, um, well, we, we saw Grant and Arnold uh, have that fight. And as far as we're concerned, uh, Grant is uh, totally innocent. Why did it take you so long to come forth? Oh, um, <clears throat> well, uh, I, I didn't want to get involved. Um, <laughs> you see, um, to be honest with you, I once had a bad experience. Wow. Um, I was in the audience of The Price is Right. <laughs> and, um, uh, contestant number two um, came actually closer to the correct retail price than contestant number three did. Uh, so uh, I uh, ran down to tell Bob Barker, or, or what, was it the late Chase Stewart? Well, well anyway. Well, anyway, I, um, the, 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 the security guard, he threw me out. And it was very embarrassing. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, I could understand why you would be gunshot. Oh, well, uh, what, what do we do now, Gary? Come over here. Oh, Gary. Okay. Oh. It's all right. I've been here the whole time. Oh. You did great. Thanks so much. Now you can, if you like, go back up into the audience and, and watch the, the, the end of the show. Oh. oh. Well, or not. It's up to you. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get every single one of you. I know where all of you live. Arnold, sit down. Grant, Mr. and Mrs. Schumacher, I'm sorry to put you through this. Arnold, I'll see you in detention. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Sorry. Sorry, we ever doubted you, honey. And we want to make it up some with with some delicious ice cream on a stick. You mean it? Yep. Oh wow, you guys can doubt me anytime. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Oh sure, I'm, I'm really glad that it worked out. Thanks a lot. See you Gary. guys. Bye, I'll see you. I'll see you. Bye. Right. Sure. Wanted... Uh, thank you, Gary, for helping us crack this case. Oh. My pleasure. I, I just wanted to stick around to tell you, you know, that, boy, I've seen a lot of principals, but uh, you, with this, you do everything. You, 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 you go to kids' houses and you check lead pipes or fingerprints. And what, what a, a quick, clean, just tribunal you had there. I, I, I really admire you. Well, it's, uh, it's a part of my job. Yeah. And if you'll excuse me, uh, I found this wad of chewing gum under my desk, and I'm going to take it over to the lab for a saliva test. 
somebody's gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> well, I better get out of here right after the show. <laughs> Anyway, I think it was a great show. I hope you had a good time. I think I'm going to do the closing monologue over the school PA system. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this, and I could never get into the principal's office. Hello? Hello? <laughs> I have a couple of announcements to make. First of all, the special in the cafeteria tomorrow is Jello and tater tots in a very special casserole. And chocolate milk. Also, uh, there'll be a man at the gate of the school selling quilts. And feel free to buy as many as you like. And also, kids, please, if you're ever in an audience for a ballet or an opera or, you know, a baseball game or anything, and you see something wrong, make sure you get up and, and, and say something, because it's your duty as a member of the audience. Right, Paula Hamlin? Yeah, that's right, Gary. <laughs> Enjoy the closing theme to my show, and I'll see you all soon. This is Danny Gans with some news I know you'll find exciting. Tomorrow, experience the lure of an alien drug that turns complete strangers into soulmates and bonds them for life. Whoa, where can I get some of that stuff? That's on an all-new Alien Nation right after a special all-new 21 Jump Street with Richard Grieco. Tomorrow on Fox Monday night. We'll see you then.